Shalom. I want to first start off giving all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakradash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings unto the elect of the nation of Israel. This is the brother Abadia from the GMS Houston camp. The name of this video is going to be called The Devil is Not the Only One Making Moves. And the devil is the so-called white man who goes who is who goes back to Esau, the father of the Edomites. And really the ruling class of them, which are the international bankers. They're the ones that cast are responsible for casting decept major deception in the earth. And while they're in the workings, as we speak, and they've been in the workings of bringing about uh, in the NWO, okay, making plans and plots and doing uh, uh, all these different things to bring about the uh, the NW NWO, conditioning the minds of the people. Hold on. To uh, meaning what I mean is, I'm going into what this man has been doing, you know, in a encapsulated form. He's been conditioning the minds of the people over here in Babylon the Great, and around the and around the world, to embrace this technology. Because the whole world is sprung, especially here in Babylon Great, and addicted to this technology. This uh, RFID technology through the phones, um, the conveniency of making payments through tapping your tapping your uh, your credit card or your debit card on the scanner, or using your phone to uh, make payments, using the uh, QR code to uh, scan things. Whether it be a menu, whether it be a website, or whatever the case may be. Okay? Now he's, um, the whole world is on the CBDCs. That The whole world is geared towards completely moving towards CBDCs, central currencies. Which will lead to the MOTB. And that's for the so-called white man. That's the icing on the cake to his NWO to have every man, woman, and child uh, that hadn't been killed off uh, um, tagged with that with the MOTB. Okay, then he can then this man his ideas that he's gonna uh, that he's playing not going to but he's playing the Most High. To where he has absolute power and control over this planet Earth. All right, so that's his ultimate his ultimate goal. Especially going back uh, or a key reference we we use going back to the the interview that Alex Jones had with Aaron Russo, and he was asking uh, Aaron Russo asked Nick Nick Rockefeller, "What's your ultimate goal? Y'all killing people? Y'all?" Making godlike uh, decisions on who lives and who dies. Um, y'all have all the money. Y'all have all the uh, power. What is y'all ultimate goal? Roughly paraphrasing uh, the question that Aaron Russo was asking Nick Rockefeller, and he say is to have everyone uh, see hipped, everyone see hipped, and have all money and accounts on that on that. And anybody that would uh wants to reject it, we'll just uh, something to the effect we'll just turn off their C hip. Okay, so while they're making moves towards this in the in this NWO, which is really the Most High's plan, he's not doing nothing authentic. He's not he doesn't he hadn't given himself the power 
to do these things, the most I set him up, according to Job 9 and 24. According to Psalm 70, was it 75? Let's read that real quick. So I think it's Psalm 75 or 6 and verse like 5 or 6. I think it's Psalm 70. Let's, let's get it. Let me find it real quick. Yeah, Psalm 75, Salakia, um, in verse 6, it says, but, I'm sorry, for promotion cometh neither from the east nor from the west nor from the south, but the most highest, but the most high is the judge. He put it down one and set it up another. This is just one scripture. I can go into others, all right, to show that the most high is in control of putting up one nation or one kingdom and taking down another kingdom. So Esau didn't put himself in the power. The Most High ultimately put him uh, put him in power. He set him up. He gave him the power to win wars and dominate this earth. Okay? So while this man think he's making moves, really it's the Most High's moves on both sides. He controlled both sides of the... Of the, of the spectrum okay the most high is making moves on the right hand side so the most high got this devil making moves on the left hand side while he's making his moves uh, setting up this the cbdc's and getting ready to bring in this the motb on a mandatory level the most high is making moves by building up the elect strengthening strengthening the government body of the kingdom that's that's next to rule which is not china it's not russia it's not any of these nations it's the nation of israel under our lord yahweh okay that's going to rule the is the israelite kingdom which is who's which is yahweh why yahweh kingdom or Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai's kingdom. All right. And by default, according to um, Romans 8 and 17, Israelites will rule uh, alongside, in order, of course, of Yahweh Shai. Yeah, Romans 8 and uh, yeah, 17. It says, and if children, then heirs. Heirs of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, or Yahweh, and joint heirs with Mashayak. If so be that we suffer with him, that we may also, I'm saying, that we may be also glorified together. And you can go up and read the, the, the verses. Uh, it's dealing with us, the Israelites. The spirit itself bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of the Most High. That pertain to Israelites. Our spirit uh, uh, bear witness because the Israelites are the ones that truly believe in the the understanding of these others, the Bible. Okay. So our spirit connects with the spirit is talking about the understanding of these scriptures. Our spirit bears witness. It said the spirit itself bears witness with our spirit. That's Romans 8 and 16. Okay. That we are the children of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Exactly. Because who really... It is the one that uh the ones that pack these harlot houses. Even though the uh because the scriptures say uh in out of the mouth of Paul they have a zeal but not according to knowledge. Who are the ones that really have the zeal for these scriptures? It's so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and uh anybody and uh those people have been scattered throughout the planet Earth. So anybody that 
you know, uh, is drawn to this word, most likely are Israelites. These heathen nations could care less about the scriptures. All right. And if it seems, you know, they look like they're the other nations and they drawn to the word, then it's, they're most likely an Israelite. Okay. Right. So as this man makes is making his moves, the most high is making moves. Right now, the most high is, is, is through Yahweh is building up the government body of the kingdom. Making us durable. And I say that humbly, Lord willing. You know, I'm a part of that. Making us durable. Uh, raising us up in this grand wisdom and understanding. And then ultimately when this devil... And I'm going to hit some scriptures. Give me, you know, I'm going to hit some more scriptures. Ultimately when this man makes his... The power move with the MOTB, the Most High is going to make moves. It's called divine inter intervention. So I want to read, because ultimately this man is going to fail. When the Most High is going to make his move to trump and destroy this man working towards his NWO. And let's bring this out. This is Job. 5 and 12 it says he disappointed disappointed the devices of the crafty yeah the devices of the craft the uh the he is the most high and ultimately he's going to disappoint the devices or in other words the plans which their plans is all these different plans that's geared towards the ultimate plan which is to establish the nwo a wicked uh, demonic cyborg rule on this planet earth it says um, yeah and the crafty are the elites so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise so they're going to lose in the end they're going to lose in the end and I got another one this is Job 20 and 23 And this is dealing with the wicked. And it's really talking about the elites of the wicked. It says, when he is about to fill his belly, the Most High shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him and shall rain it upon him while he is eating. And that's going into the thermonuclear destruction. So ultimately, ultimately the Most High is going to destroy to destroy this man's plans to rule this planet Earth and for eternity with thermonuclear destruction. And even before we get to that point, the Most High is going to be making his chess moves that are going to trump Esau's. I want to get this in the out of the book of Job, not Job, uh, Proverbs. Proverbs um, 24 and 20. It says, For there shall be no reward to the evil man. The candle of the wicked shall be put out. All right. Meaning this, this really what that's talking about is this gross darkness that's covering the earth that this man is spreading as it, as if it is uh light, actual with uh wisdom and understanding. The Most High is gonna put that out. This man's wine and his uh his way of of life, which is really a way of debt, because he's all about debt. The thief coming. To do uh, not but for to steal, kill, and destroy. And that's exactly what this man has done on the planet Earth. He's effed everything up. And took everything out of his proper order. I got another uh, scripture. 
think I'm going to end it right here. Um, I can book Isaiah. Isaiah 59 and verse 19. Right. This is Isaiah 59 and 19. It says, uh, so shall they fear the name of the Lord from the from the West. Yeah, that's talking about over here in uh, the Western Hemisphere, over here in the Americas. Okay, and it's glory from the rising of the sun. It says, when the enemy shall come in like a flood, and that that's we right around the corner from that. Okay, he came in like a flood at one point in time during the time of the uh, 70 AD, which really started around, uh, I believe, 66 AD to like 70, and then ended around 74 AD. Um when the Roman Romans uh, came against Israel, besieged Israel, and pretty much uh, uh, uprooted us out the, the land. So, this, um, yeah, uprooted us out of the land. Some of us fled. Some of us surrendered. Some of and uh, uh, yeah, some of us fled. Some of us surrendered. And some a lot of us, Israelites perished during that time period okay this time around when this man comes in to uh destroy us israelites all right a big uh what is the word i want to use a, this great grand assault against the israelites through uh martial law through the plagues this man is putting out, so forth and so on, all right? The Most High is going to lift up a standard against this man. The standard, what have, did I read that part? Again, when the enemy shall come in like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord shall lift, the Spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. And that standard is divine in the interventions, which is spiritual power. And we have faith in that. Certain men are going to get spiritual power. And other, uh, uh, what's the word I would use? Divine things are going to be happening to where the Most High is going to be shutting this man down. Fucking this man up on a spiritual level. That's going to play out in 3D, this 3D psych that we have. And this three, uh, third dimension. Okay. Spiritual things are going to manifest in the physical. The Most High is going to destroy this man. So ultimately this man will lose. He's not going to succeed in his in his uh attempt to establish an NW on this earth. He will lose. Thus said uh the scriptures. All we have to do is have faith that is going to happen that way. And what does the scripture say? And uh, I'll leave leave with, leave with off with this. Um, what does it say in Romans 8 and 20? The creature, is, the creature was made subject to vanity, not willingly. This is the focal point right here, the, the end of the verse. By the same that, the, by the same that have subjected Let me read the verse. Got a little lost on the last part of the uh, verse. That he, by by the same that have subjected. Uh, I'm about to read it. Sorry about that. Excuse me. Romans 8 and 20, it says, For the creature was made subject to vanity, not willingly, but by reason of him who have subjected the same in hope. So there's that's the elect. The elect is subject is subjected unto hope, or in other words, meaning under the rule of faith. It can't get away from having faith. It's no way possible that the elect will not have faith. 
okay so you know i said that that you know all we have to do is have faith and that's gonna come through that's gonna that's decided by the most high who's gonna endure it to the end and who's not yeah so why this man is making his moves when this man make his move, the Most High is going to make his move. And the Most High move is going to be better more and effective. It's going to trump this man, the shit that he got going. So it ain't going to be like Esau that's going to be winning and destroying and pillaging and plundering. And ain't nothing going to be happening. The Most High is going to be fucking this man up in the process. And halting and hindering his plans. So Lord willing, this video was edifying. And to the next one. I say shallow warm.